joint actions have names. Elbow joint, elbow flexion, elbow extension. This is pretty much kinematics, kinesiology. Uh, but joint actions have names and that, so kinesiology, kinematics, it's its own language that helps understand how the body moves. I'll do it here and then I'll do it here. My palm and my forearm are in what's called a supinated position. Now it's pronated. I supinate from a position of pronation to supination, and I pronate from a position of supination to pronation. Supinate, pronate, neutral. Neutral, pronate, supinate. Don't spill the soup. Hold it in a supinated position. If you have a bowl of soup in your hand and you pronate, you spill the soup. Supinate, pronate. This happens, this motion of supination, pronation happens in the forearm where the radius crosses over the ulna. Bones have names. Radius, and it's called the radius because it radiates around the distal end of the humerus. The ulna attaches to the humerus and for, at the olecranon, which is the elbow. Pronation, supination. Pronation, supination happens in the forearm. This bone is called the humerus. <laughs> it is the long bone of the upper arm. It too can rot rotate, but we don't call it pronation, supination. Don't ask me why. It's called internal and external rotation. Internal, oh. see this bone is rotating in and now it's rotating out but if i put it in a different position it's still internal rotation and external rotation internal external internal external now what happens when we throw a straight punch and we pronate the forearm and internally rotate the humerus. So we, we have an ex exercise, thumb snap downs, that accelerates our, our ability to do that, to snap, to rotate. So what's challenging is I don't want you guys to be dependent on guru said, well, my guru can beat up your guru. And my guru says that snapping your fist, turning your fist and snapping your thumb down adds more power to the punch. My guru said so, therefore, that's, that's, that's real. That's what it is. Because then you get in a situation where, yeah, but my guru says that you don't want to turn your fist all the way over, that 
turning it to the palm facing down. Oh, what is this? Uh, boom. Uh, pronation. Well, this is still pronated, but it's more of a neutral position. Okay. So neutral pronation supination. So a slightly pronated position, not fully pronated. Okay. But what ends up happening is people come from their backgrounds and their biases and their guru taught them. And that, that just, there's no deciphering that. There's no understanding. There's no conclusion. It simply is, well, you do it that way. We do it this way. I like my way better. And my guru can beat up your guru. So, neener, neener. And we're not on the freaking playground. We're in the classroom. We're in the laboratory. We're figuring this out. So, we go to the study of human locomotion, kinesiology, kinematics, exercise science, how the body moves and how it works. And then we can start having some clear, emphatic truth. All right. So here's the thing, guys. To say that turning your fist all the way over and snapping your thumb down adds power to the punch is inaccurate. Of the choices, we can throw a punch and land like this. As long as our striking knuckles are landing first, we're good. This is powerful. And it is smaller, so it actually fits through gaps better than this. If they have, you know, a pretty good fight stance, you got to squeeze. This fits down between the guard better than this. And then this, well, now we're in the vertical fist position, but upside down or inverted or whatever, you know, guys? <laughs> like, oh, this also fits down that gap. So everything is multifactorial. Everything is more than just one answer, one perspective. So the short answer is that this is valid, this is valid, this is valid, and really anything, anywhere along that spectrum, as long as you are hitting with your striking knuckles, is valid. However, the most difficult version is snapping your thumb all the way down, internally, internally rotating the humerus while simultaneously pronating the forearm. Boom. And it's the best punch. And it does have the most power. However, adding that rotation does not add power to the punch. The other versions leech power away from the punch. So, this is shoulder flexion. And 
the shoulder is a girdle. It's a complex of joints. It's several bones and many joints. The shoulder is a girdle. The glenohumeral, GH, this is the humerus. And inside, <laughs> there is what's called the glenoid fossa. And the head of the humerus sits in the glenoid fossa, forming the GH, the glenohumeral joint. So if we want to get very specific about this joint, its name is GH, glenohumeral. But colloquially, if I want to actually talk to people, you call it the shoulder. Even though the shoulder is this whole girdle that includes the, the glenoid, the humerus, the clavicle, and the scapula. Okay, so this is called glenohumeral flexion going this way and extension going that way. We're gonna, I'm going to use shoulder and glenohumeral and GH intercha interchangeably. Stay with me. Shoulder flexion, shoulder extension, shoulder flexion, shoulder extension. Internal rotation external rotation, internal rotation, external rotation, internal rotation with pronation, external rotation with supination. So, muscles pull on bones and articulate at the joints. Joints tend to be or are the axis of rotation for the lever system of the muscles and the bones. So to create this motion, which this is what's happening here, we are flexing the shoulder as we are extending the elbow, and that's how we get our straight punch. But if we just look at this joint, it's shoulder flexion. But if we add the elbow joint, oh, okay, we're extending. That's how you get the pressing motion. That's how you get the straight. Multiple joints moving simultaneously. But we're trying to figure out how internally rotating the humerus and pronating the forearm adds power. Because this motion and this motion are two different motions happening in two different planes, so it doesn't make any sense that doing this would increase the power of this. But I'm here to tell you, 